Uh, I completed my post graduation from Guwahati University in the year 2019 and after that I started preparing for the civil service and when I started first uh, preparing for the civil service uh, there was the whole syllabus so I will be bilingual here uh, old syllabus, uh, I used to feel that it is very easy, I can crack it easily. But after that, when the syllabus got changed, uh, it was uh, like, a, especially for the CSET, CSET was a kind of nightmare for me. Because uh, I was very weak in maths, very weak in quantitative aptitude. So uh, when I started preparing, uh, the first main objective was uh, uh, to clear prelims because I consider prelims as the most toughest phase of the examination. And uh, because uh, and uh, for the prelims also, uh, the main uh, strategy was uh, to attempt 50 to 100 questions daily. And uh, my almost uh, two three months course. Uh, 50 to 100 questions daily. Our rate of matter no course is a corpora course. Kismat bohut random websites wa sile, some coaching mock test wa sile. To questions bohut attempt kore usulu. For CSET, yate I think the most important thing is to know your strength and weakness. Because um, when uh, I uh, checked the syllabus, uh, the first thing I noticed is that quant is not my cup of tea. So the only thing I can focus is English and reasoning. So I tried that reasoning or English they can iman to mark ahi jai jama pass kori jau. So uh, around 99 marks or uh, more C set correct asile, which was also a surprise for me as well. Uh, then uh, coming to um, the interview, actually um, post means uh, I was in a kind of dilemma to continue with civil service or to go for the academics. Because um, already Bohu Terry Hoi Gosile, I started preparing in the year 2019. So Bohu Terry Hoi I got enrolled uh, for the PhD program in Cotton University. And I was uh, doing PhD. Uh, and uh, by luck, uh, I got uh, selected as assistant professor also. So I was, a kind of, I was in a kind of dilemma, ki ki koru, e bhalabha, ne e bhalabha. And even I talked to Vikas sir, that what should I do so? <laughs> so finally after the... Uh, long discussion and debate with uh, almost uh, many of the persons I know, I decided to go for the civils. And uh, the most important part here comes is the interview. So, I uh, mean interview to mostly I ignore for you, but interview to TTR is very important in order to improve your rank. So, rank to improve your rank, we have interview to focus on the interview. My interview panel was Niranjan Kolita Sarar. And he had a literature background, which was very difficult for me. Because in the literature of the question, it was sometimes very difficult to answer. So around 25 minutes of interview, the moment I entered, he asked me, because my address was like Behar Bari, he asked me, what is Behar? So, uh, uh, the whole interview is about observing your surrounding, first, first point. Because they asked me the questions from my address only. They asked me what is Behar and uh, uh, he also asked me a question, Ki Behar bari outpost and acting Korisa Nikya and I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> then uh, he was like, my interview was uh, mainly in SMEs. So, yes, I forgot it. Then I'm like, no, sir, it's okay, sir, I don't have any opportunity. He again started that I don't have to write any other words. So, I don't have any meaning. So, it started with something called Horyo. He also asked me from which dialect. So, that was the kind of thing. Uh, then, so uh, Kobo, it is only a personality test. However, I would like to uh, uh, say that it is not only a personality test, it is also a test of your knowledge. Because they ask you various questions from your mains, various questions from your prelims. So, I mean, keep your prelims goal money, I mean, mains are to isa, mains goal money, interview is to isa, but you have to keep in your mind that all the knowledge you gathered in your prelims is very important. Because they ask me questions on such as like, Hongkodev Kitya Janma Hosin, Madhavdev Kitya Janma Hosin. Very factual questions. So, uh, second uh, important tip I would like to give here is that being honest. 
always try to be honest in the interview because I can give an example. There was a friend of mine, tell uh, kudisile Madhav Devak sinipua, and he answered yes. Tell uh, next kudisile Madhav Devak ekhon kitapor nam kuasa. He said nam gukha. Then they asked ki nam gukha porisa niki. He said yes, and that was the trap, and he fall into it. And uh, they um, next question asile nam gukha potom jitu gukha asa hetu kuasa, and he couldn't answer it. And they were smiling. So, on this thakot of busy better, I mean, how does how does go deeper like that? That you how does take it up only that I mean, that is sympathy take it. Just manu to janok ban as an at least honest hoy. Then I get to know that my puti sila bhavendra not hoy kya string color or antori poisa ni kya? I said no so. So that you tell me next question no mood hile aro. So question kine I mean, agway loy jaban alagi. Um, ziman paru I mean, jikine janu jikine the hima bodda thakot to amar karne bhal. Next is um, presence of mind. They check presence of mind because uh, when I entered into the interview, uh, they were like, "Sir, person, I am to ki zana na zana," and I am like, "Niranjan Kolita sir," and they replied, "Can I get a compala?" Ma, bolu, je bahiro name plate thulo gua asile, and they were like, "Oh, size sa mane?" Then I said, "Yes." So they check presence of mind and. Uh, um, Guti uh, interview to Morkom um, Jay, first of all, be very well versed about your name, Namtur meaning, and mainly your title. Because they ask question ki Bora Zuni to me title likai title to origin code. Kuntu Gustir Pora to title ahi se. Janaka Muk Kuti sile, Bora to call Ahom Manu to Kisuman likhe, to me ki mane cast belong kora. Then you could honor personal Kuti sile. So, first of all, your name is very well versed in your name. Second, your date of birth. Date of birth is very important in the Indian history, in the Indian polity, in the world history, it is very important in the world history. So, it is very well versed in your name. Third thing, when it was in the city, it was not in the city of the Kamrup Metro. They are not interested to know about Kamrup Metro. They are interested to know about your roots. What apuni belong kore? My directly first question is Kamrup Metro, and that particular person asks me, "Dota ko apko hetu kwa?" And he asks me question on Nova. So Mar ghor ko, Dota ghor ko, hetu bira bhal ke prepare kore bhal ke. Tatiyo my ekta strategy, my itya hai share kore so. They were also trying to ask me questions on my mother's home. So, because for Margaar Borpeta Asile and Borpeta Upar Pohi Bale Mooraro Hamorta Nasile Bohut Besi Pohi Bale Lage. So, my simple attack kolo je Moor Margaaru Naugaute Asile. So, better mene try to be smart here. So, this is the thing. Then, be very well versed about your optional. आरो जो दी है पॉलिटिकल साइंस बैकग्राउंड और वही टेटर तो आरो बेसी स्ट्रॉंग एट अ ग्राउंड टेटर के बीच आरे। आई वाज आस्क क्वेश्चंस ऑन फॉरेन पॉलिसी। तुम्हारे कहने के मोदी एरा इंडियन फॉरेन पॉलिसी सेंजेस हो से। देन नदी सोलिया सिले टेटिया देर वाज क्वेश्चन ऑन दैट। दे आस्क uh, some questions on women. Yes, uh, here I want to say one thing is that if you are a woman, you should be very much prepared for the questions related to women. If you are a you belong to a minority group, you should be very much aware about the minority thing. So, Muslim or usually as a Muslim community belong correct. The Muslim or question could have answers very basic. So, here to most prepare for the sister group. Women hole women or part to question goodi boy goodi boy. ते वो लेके मुझे लेके कुछ इसलिए जे सपोज मोटी मार काजी एसीएस ऑफिसर बनाए रिलो माय एकदम पूरा मोदी पर अप्रोवल लोए हिलो तो मगे एसीएस ऑफिसर बनावो का है ने तुम अग एडुकेटेड विमेन और पूरा दुटा सेंजेस आनी बोली लो एंड दे यूज्ड अ वर्क कॉल एडुकेटेड विमेन सो की कोडीबा की की सेंजेस आनीबा � ताते तो कौन से जो do you think जो educated women और वाजो तो menstrual hygiene is a problem and I said yes तो because it was already prepared answer 
because I come to know that around 66% women are educated in India and out of which only 36% women use menstrual uh, uh, pads. So from that I was able to justify my answer. Um, then coming to the um, uh, one more tip uh, is that uh, whether it is English or it is Assamese, language or for command to further your plus point. It is Okomia Hawk by English they Hawk. Uh, they asked me a question on uh, that Majitu Kolu, uh, Modi era Kelugu foreign policy changes. Then I said ki, uh, uh, we keep on using the word no, Southeast Asia, and I use the word called Dokkin Puvestia. He was smiling, he was very happy. So uh, try to use uh, those words, uh, either it is English or SMS, it doesn't matter. Uh, however, come on, Judy language, they love it. Then, uh, how to prepare for the interview? So, interview preparation are uh, mainly more for a set of course. You know, peculiar or both, 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 both. Uh, more key course, you know, uh, toppers of like interview will like search for it. Then, you can get your question could have question to could have log a log a video to pause for you. Pause for it again. Either my cotton is a quiz on no holy mat at a comment section and answer to link. And uh, Kato Korote Korote, uh, both busy preparation, then a key will go to them. And uh, second thing, I mean, mirror front of side, kotha pati paparu. So it will be very beneficial. Because mirror front of side, kotha pati kila, I mean, kine ko expression due, kine ko dhar na question ar kheto jani bapar hai. Third thing, ma uh, mainly ki kore silo more zivilak friends hai sile. Tya uh, unko logot video chat ata hoy sile. I mean, ki koru pura ekdom jitu dress pinhi, I mean, jam interview face kori bokaane. That particular salwar suit or that particular. Uh, Sador Mekhela or Sud, he is a pin he, I mean, interview people as a stack or so that I mean, we can feel the vibe of the interview. So, uh, always try to do that. This is my um, tips. And uh, next is uh, always try to include uh, your um, family members in the interview. I used to do what is that more bhanti asile, maa asile, deota asile, they are pins on board on isile ke bohai, maa front of bohi, they are not question kuri bole isile. So, what do we do? We prepare for the interview to the case. And uh, last of all, uh, uh, there are questions that we have to ask. 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 I will ask LOC, LSE, 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 Red Cliff Line was recalled. I don't know what happened to me. However, I couldn't recall Red Cliff Line. So, any kind of hobo. At that moment, the important thing is that how you handle the situation. No, I really fine. But always try to uh, be polite, be humble, and say no. But all of them, that they all know. I you should uh, show that more bad thing is that we are not then you can see that they are not very good. And the board, they are not very good. 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 So, my suggestion is that always, whenever you appear in an interview, try to be calm. Try to stay composed. Karan kekini time but our peace of mind na thake. When you are facing ekhe pare renowned personalities of Assam, more border Niranjan Kolita sir as well, secretary to the state of Assam as well, Aru Egora ki birat purona ECS officer as well. Te onu ko usarat mene misa mati bolle apuna usarat mene pakka mata na thake. Misa zori matte ho possible. So they are so smart. Ami zori bhabu zay ami hai political science ano they know everything. Starting from even uh, I already mentioned that Niranjan Kalita sir, he was from literature background, but he knew uh, engineering also. He asked question on breeze designing and all. So they are generalists from everywhere. So uh, try to remain calm, be humble. Whenever you say no, humble, thorne kobo, be polite. Aro all dress code to halke maintain kore ba lagye. Karon our civil servant is expected to dress in a very decent manner. So always try to wear decent clothes. And parile hand movement restrict thaki ba lagye. 
Yes, any ko ekko rule nae jami health movementi kore bolwaro. Kore bo paro. However, any mane any time hand movement jaha bo nala ke. Aro potho goi ke ne tao bohi bolle nidi uthe bohi bo nala ke. Tao loke kobo apuna the heavier seat. Teti ahe bohi bo nala ke. And my suggestion is that tao loke zori question okomiat kude. I would say answer it in Assamese. If they ask you question in English, answer it in English. Uh, my whole interview was in Assamese. They asked me only one question in English, what is referendum? Only that was my question, uh, which was in English. Uh, uh, any question, tell me the question related to your day-to-day um, uh, -day life. Uh, tell me the question, my hobby is cooking. They asked me the question, ki bhat randhe ne bonai? And I was very confused. Ki bhat randhe ne bonai. Then I thought ki bhat sake randhe. And I said randhe. He said yes, bhat randhe. Bhoos to bila ke bonai. They are so smart. Starting. <laughs> so you be very prepared. Ki iman hoon kale teo look to nafase. Aapna look or bane misa kata zari kwa zai. They are so smart. Mane ki aapna look or dhara pela boka ne teo look or hey dos minute or interview is enough. Aapna look kun hoi. अपना लोग को रियल पर्सनेलिटी की होए, अपना लोग किन्हें क्या होए, ये तो बस जो दस मिनट तक त्यागने के गम पाए जाए, अपना लोग त्याग जांच कोरे के ने, त्याग मार्क्स दे रिवा पड़े। इवन मौज जितिया पुमाई सो, देर वाज अ गाय, त्याग कोचिंग इंस्टिट्यूट और काम कोरे ऐसे ले, एंड दे वर डिस्कसिंग कि खेल और now, he was employed through coaching, so he was trying to uh, say that coaching is good and all these things. And they were discussing like, Laura, the coaching institute of defense core will be sustained for us. And we will not promote this culture. So, there is a lot of good things. So, we will not judge our gate. 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 आपुने जेठिया फर्स्ट अच्छा वर्ड अच्छे कोड बो तार पड़ा स्टार्ट हो बो टिल द मोमेंट यू एक्सिट द गेट सो गुटे टाइम की नहीं लास्ट टाइम आपुने इन्हें क्या लगी बो जे मतलब रेस्टलेस अच्छा फील करा जाए मून इज़ोर लगी सिले बिकॉज़ दैट वाज़ माय फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू इन एपीएसी सो मून इज़ोर तो ये किन्हीं टाइम होते कैन के निज़ों के काम रखे कैन के कंपोज रखे ये तो ये मेन गेम बोली मैं भाभू इंटरव्यू और ऑनेस्ट हंबल पुलाइट दिस आर द थ्री की पॉइंट्स डेट आर वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द इंटरव्यू सो इफ देर इज एनी क्वेश्चन देन वी कैन डिस्कस लेटर विद दिस आई वुड लाइक टू कंक्� I won't focus much on the preparation strategy as per se because this is an interactive session. How do I know it's an interactive session? Right here. So, I would like to thank all my future colleagues here for talking about the preparation. They have summed it up really well. The point being that I don't have anything else to say. Right? Vidisha also talked about interview now, I have talked about interview, but she covered all my points, so I am just going to stand here for 10 minutes and not say anything. <laughs> the thing that she added, I would like to add upon that when it comes to appearance, when you prepare for the interview, uh, I think it is very important to wear formal attire, right? You have to be present, especially for all the uh, guys. You don't have to be clean shaven. I was clean shaven when I went for the interview, but you just have to be present. Right? Uh, and secondly, you, when you wear a formal attire, you wear plain shirts, not very fancy, blinky disco t-shirts. A lot of people have seen wearing, you know, red, sparkling red uh, disco shirts during the interview. Please avoid that. It really hampers your interview. Uh, second, you should be, you know, there should be common sense when you do interview. So, what do I mean by that? A lot of people, our interview happened in May and June. So, a lot of people at that point of time, that was really hot. Okay? Or sunny days right now in November. Uh, that was really hot at the point time. People wore ties and suits and everything to interviews. One of my friends was asked, "Don't you feel hot? What is what is up with your body, right?" So you should always realize your surroundings. You should have that common sense when you appear to the interviews. Uh, I would say, All right? Uh, then you know, have a very light meal. I have a few friends who had gastric problems during the interview. Please do not do that, right? 
uh, when it comes to the applicant detail form, which is also known as the DAP in UPSC, uh, they can the DAP the applicant detail form contain, contains of many information. For example, your name. So starting with your name, you should know what your name is all about. You should know your address. You should know your pin codes. You should know uh, about your district. So this is one of the very important questions that they ask during the interview. You know about your district, about the importance of your district. Let's say if, if you have a hobby, you should have a hobby. Don't lie about it. Uh, my hobby was jogging, right? So you can have a very simple hobby. Uh, when it comes to your education or when it comes to work, for example, I I am a computer engineer. I'm not uh, parts of the art uh, the art community. So they would ask you, what exactly can you contribute to the civil services with your knowledge of let's say, engineering, the knowledge of computer engineering? Or I work as a business analyst. So what can you contribute to the society as a business analyst, uh, analyst in the civil services? So I think that is something that is really, really important. Uh, they also ask you questions about your post preference. So, uh, so let's say my mine was ACS, APS, and so on. So why did you put APS first? That is one of the major, major questions that they, they can ask. So I, I think you should be actually you should be very, very clear when it comes to why you are doing certain things, why this is happening, right? So, so the. Whole preparation is not just random preparation. It's, it's a very systematic and very very well thought of, right? Uh, secondly, third of all, I think most of me also told me about it that she was asked about literature, Assamese literature, Assamese poetry. So I think that is also important. Uh, you should at least read some some literature about it, uh, the the Assamese literature, right? Thirdly, I would like to talk about the verbal presentation. So, like Pritisha clearly mentioned that. Uh, how, how should you behave, how should you enter. From entering to exit, you are being marked, you are being analyzed. So I think that is very important. Uh, something that I think is very important is when ever the uh, interviewer asks you a question, you should not just answer directly, you should take a three second pause. You should think about the questions that they have asked. So what, why did I mention the three, just three second pause? Is because you have to understand the perspective of preparing for any part of this preparation, okay? So when you, when the interview, keeping the interview as perspective, you have to realize that this is not a question answer session. This is basically you are communicating, you are trying to convey your ideas to them. It's a conversation. So try to build a conversation rather than just trying to answer correctly. I, I don't think uh, it really hampers your marks because I would give you an example. What happened with me was there were four factual questions back to back and I could not answer the four questions back to back. So I said, sorry, I would like to learn about it, I would like to read about it more. I don't know at this moment. So I, did, I don't think that hampered a lot. So when you are being questioned, don't try to answer, you know, falsely or, or try to manage the question up or man manage the answer up. Uh, try to give honest answers. If you do not know, directly say, I do not know. Right? So, so that's what the perspective is very important. The perspective comes into play in GS also. You, if I have to say, let's say, uh, if I prepare for six to seven hours, that is enough. But at the other times, what do I do? For example, I go out with my friends. I see a petrol pump, let's say. Then I, I get to realize that why is the government uh, really aggressively pushing on ethanol production, right? Like mixing ethanol 20% by 2020. So you have to realize uh, certain aspects, right? Uh, that there's environmental aspects. Then you have to link it to the sugar industry, let's say fair and remunerative prices. So, whenever you're not studying, you kind of should analyze. So, uh, so that's the perspective I, I, I want to show, that uh, it is not only about uh, knowing the facts or learning something, it's also about problem solving and to realize that as a civil servant, you would need to solve a lot of problems. So I think studying uh, through problem solving is very important in this preparation. Uh, so that's all I think I can sum it up here. I, I really want to uh, you know know your questions regarding this preparation. So I think your questions would be more beneficial if I answer them rather than lecture. So I can do that. Thank you. Officers has already uh, detailed about the preparation and all. So I'll just add some of the brownie points, which will be very much helpful for you as parents. So first of all, I would. Uh, this is this was my second attempt. So uh, my first attempt was in 2018. Okay, and I could not clear the prelims itself. But then after 2020, when I gave, so today here I finally cleared. So first 
point would be that you will have to be very perseverant in this journey. So that's what is matters. Secondly, what I would like to say that I am from commerce background. I have done my masters in accounts and finance from Guwahati University itself. So, but after that, I opted for political science and international relations. So here I want to say that you guys are already at one step ahead because you are you are already having pol science as your background so that's why you guys are very much ahead so i would like that yes there is very much motivation to take up the civil services so yes that's the first point and the second is like i will uh, stress on with the holistic preparation as my all my uh, fellows uh, officers have already told that how to prepare and what not to prepare so i will add some of the brownie points in each stage first of all is practice newspaper reading it is local national it is a must that should be your first dose of uh, start day okay so newspaper reading is a must secondly is for attempting prelims the uh, first thing is i have already given three attempts of upsc okay so i would say that still i am not i am still venturing out the pre preparation so that's why how it's very important to solve the mcqs mcqs are like your one step or one stop solution for prelims okay and csat preparation as already my friends have already told you what to do and what not to do so i will not tell much about that so that's it next coming to the mains okay this is very important because here your marks are being counted prelims you just need to qualify but mains you need to perform so first in the gs paper where we have history where we have geography and when where we have society there always try to use some examples while you are answering geography questions uh, make use of diagrams suppose you are being asked the climate of assam draw a map draw a map a rough map it will take just 1 2 seconds draw map then mark it up then you will get extra points then in the history while his history questions are being answered try to draw some of the maps like suppose there is a question on indus valley civilization so if you uh, if you remember one two points uh, places where indus valley civilization was there always point the uh, point it because the diagrammatic representation always makes your presentation better so for gs one and in the society paper try to link it with current affairs so this is the strategy for gs1 then coming to gs2 which is your part only that is polity and international relation always remember while answering the polity questions where 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 you are answering gs2 always write articles very important you should write articles while you are answering gs2 answers and in while answering the international relations part always link it up with the current affairs okay then coming to the gs3 part where we have economy where we have environment and science and technology suppose there is a question on hunger okay economics part so there you will have to write about the global hunger hunger index that is uh, now india has a ranking of 107 out of the 121 country so you will have to quote that report because that see you don't have much time to write answers but the answers which you write the content which you prepare helps you to get them brownie points and that helps you in interview remember i didn't get that good marks in interview i am pointing out my negative all the things okay so what what didn't go well so here i didn't get high marks in interview but my mains marks were pretty decent enough so they could not i got selected so that is why i'm telling how important is the mains preparation you have to start very much nicely here you have to get a hold so there in gs3 uh, which i was telling is that you will have to quote some of the reports environment if there is some reports going on uh, like uh, the cepi report or anything you will have to write about the reports also this helps okay so similarly science and technology any new development is happening obviously it is related to current affairs only coming to gs4 that is ethics very important is there in fact uh, your political science optional also comes helpful because while you are writing answers on integrity or anything you can write about uh, socrates how socrates sacrificed uh, you know uh, sacrifice for the sake of democracy he didn't question the system and directly rank him lock so like the things you can point uh, quote and write on ethics so use thoroughly examples use of examples should be thorough for the gs paper 4 and then uh, for the uh, political science optional part i would as my as been already my uh, friends already told everything but i will tell here one thing that you will have to interlink interlink means suppose you are being asked something about constitution so while you are quoting indian constitution also write about aristotle because aristotle has always taught us that uh, polity is the mean okay so the medium uh, medium path 
isn't it? For any uh, conflict of interest, uh, you always should, uh, should uh, select the medium path. So like that, you try to interlink, bring Socrates, bring Aurobindo, bring everyone, because you guys are at a better space na, to write the Western political thinkers or the Indian political thinkers. Bring Mahatma Gandhi, write about Ramaraj, Ramaraj to Ramaraj, that is how he built the constitution, how what, what he idolizes India to be. These things are very much helpful and this will obviously fetch you some extra marks. While you write GS paper 5, you also use Socrates, uh, sorry, Socrates, uh, Shankar Dev, Madhav Dev. So all these things will help you to get some marks, which will ultimately be uh, very helpful to sail through the process. So these are the things and while coming to interview, as already my friend also told you that yes, you need to be very much holistic preparation should be there. Uh, you will have to be, you have, you should have a thorough knowledge on current affairs. You should be well versed with Asmis literature because they asked me to recite a poem, not in English, but in Asmis. They were very much specific. When first they asked me to recite a poem, okay, so I started with where the mind is without fear and health is held right. I thought that they asked me to Engl in English only, so this is a very common poem, but then they specifically told me that no, Ahomiyar poem hunwa. So like that you will have to be very much well versed in everything, okay, specific thing. And one more thing which I wasn't asked, by my, but my friend was asked was like a case study. Questions are here, interview report on case studies. Uh, like I'll bring one small case study here. Uh, my friend was asked that suppose there is a boat, okay, you and your uh, parents are traveling on the boat, okay, suppose the boat sinks, now you will have only two options. To select one you'll have to you can select you and one of your parents not both then she told that okay sir then i will no i will select both well, no you cannot select both but you have to select one so whom would you select mom or dad now it is a very tricky question because mark bosam ne detak bosam like this happens now everyone obviously ma everyone loves mom and dad equally but then you'll have to think through your mind that then she answered very nicely she answered was that uh, as a uh, my mom and dad, I love both of them, but in comparison to my dad, I will save my mom. Then suddenly, the panel, one question from the panel came up, why there is so much feminism or what you want to save your mom, even feminism Nikki. Like that, they wanted to trap her, obviously, but then she justified it, that no, I want to save my mom because in comparison to my dad, my mom has some of her aspirations left. And my dad has already, in comparison to her, my dad has already seen the world uh, more and all the, uh, in, in my perspective, his aspirations has always been, um, already been achieved. So that is why, uh, since my, uh, the aspirations of my mom are left, so obviously I would save her. So this was a very good answer, which was like justification also. It's not just an abrupt answer, but she justified her point also, why she saved her mom. So this type of things sails you through the interview and she got one of the highest marks in interview, that is 192 very good marks so that's why i wanted to bring her example there so yes so like these things you will have to i mean to say that whatever you write whatever you write whether it is an interview or it is in gs paper 4 which is ethics and integrity you just need to justify case studies are there in part 2 ethics paper 4 there are case studies there is uh, one mantra is that there is no perfect answer for ethics ethics paper in case studies etu korile bhalo bone etu korile bhalo bo dutai korile bhalo bo pare but juntu korile bhalo bo tumi juntu likhiba always whatever you write you will have to justify it so hey justification to na jete you will read paper in the paper when you will read case studies related thing e bila inculcate korile lahe lahe ahibo so yes you will have to develop it because it's about the mains prelims to okay fine you read this read that you can sail through but mains is very much important to teneke korile i guess uh, everyone are very much good here so yes can be achieved so this is i'll keep it short and yes any questions you can ask later so yes obviously thank you very much thank you sir. take one question and answer
and jodi as i'm sure you newspaper is a for follow kore bele problem hoy i can suggest one thing is that you can follow spmi academy er khodai eta ta video diye daily newspaper releases bole so you can do that however jiki ta editor e thakibo jiki ta khodai porhi tar pora news bolna to mandatory hoy because assam tribune i would say national newspaper er kyo assam tribune beshi important because interview to direct patient please from the assam tribune means to us
Mavonia is somewhat like it because it was, was to benefit ratio good now, I think, technology. I don't know, good to see you see, exciting to have a clever about the device. Do you have any questions? I have to get some back to some back. I will do my questions. Do you get content and ecology part of this? Oh, yeah, environment and ecology part of this. Basically, I started to start with the syllabus 
তেতিয়া মই ভাবিলো যে সিলেবাস তো বহুত বেছি মোৰ কারণে দে দিস ইজ সিটা নোভিস মানে মই যেতো কি সিলেবাস আছে অপশনালৰ মই হেতু জানা নাছিলো জাস্ট আই হেড দা ইউপিএসসি সিলেবাস ইন ফ্রন্ট অফ মাই আইজ তো তেতিয়া মই কি কৰিলো যিবিলা টপিকস আছে তেনেকে মই কোচিং মানে মই শুভ্রা রেজন আইএস বুলি এজন এটা কোচিং সেন্টার আছে তারে মোস্ট পাইজ আই ডোন্ট নিড টু গো টু দেল্লি মানে ঠিক আছে এই ইনিশিয়াল স্টেজত তেতিয়া বেলে কথা আছিল বাট আজি বেটো ইউ হ্যাভ এভরিথিং মানে পোস্টাল কোর্সও আহে বাট এনিথিং मतलब সিন্স ইউ আর ইফ ইউ আর ফ্রম দা নন পলিটিক্যাল সাইন্স ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড সো দেন আই জাস্ট টুক হার নোটস এন্ড দেন এভরিথিং ইজ সিনক্রোনাইজড নাইসলি এজ পার দা টপিক সো ফ্রেন্ডস প্লেটো অ্যারিস্টটল ওয়েস্টার্ন পলিটিক্যাল থটস আর বেলে একটা সেকশন আহে ইন্ডিয়ান ইনকাস আর একটা বেলে একটা সেকশন আহে তো তেনেকে মই মেমো নোটস কি ইমান মানে লুসিড ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অফ লিখা আছে মানে ভেরি দা ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ইজ ভেরি সিম্পল টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড देयर আর নো uh you know hyper words here yeah. so then again when i when i started reading it so it was very yeah, easy for me and then what i did was i read it thoroughly and then i made short notes out of it because the dia ami bohu iman iman man hoye jay to ke bostu to pata to etu to eta for example it is impossible to revise moi ki korilo porikha rako ki jute porisile center moi jete revise kori asilo shop shop reads leto gsb then ke ase not the like important important words ase so we will like like it so then again when you write aristotle when you read about aristotle uh, polity is the medium uh, medium so any get i was at cause it is socrates for him it is he socrates are important gs miller liberal it is liberal is me so there is a basic question in it that i have structured for you so automatically revision time of polka hall jo ara gote or it is a statement that i have mona for you so automatically question to take it very easy logo the direct to any direct to you can't for these sources for her i am not going to get up for her i am not going to get up for her i am not going to get up for her
আৰু তোমালোকে কেতিয়াবা গৈ পেলাই ক্লাছৰুমতো ডেটেজ দিব পাৰা কেতিয়াবা কি হ'ব তাত তাৰ টিচাৰসকলে তোমালোকক এনালাইসিস কৰি দিব কিন্তু কোনোবা যদি যাব নোৱাৰা এটা মই নগাঁৱত আছিলোঁ নগাঁৱতে মই ঘৰতে বহি টেষ্টিং দিছিলোঁ এতিয়া মই সেইখিনি কেনেকৈ নিজে এনালাইসিস কৰিম সেইটো কাৰণে কি হয় চিন্তা নকৰিবা সেই টেষ্টিংখিনি আনসারখিনি প্ৰভাইড কৰে আফটাৰ আ পিৰিয়ড অফ টাইম সেইখিনি প্ৰভাইড কৰে তো তোমালোকে কি কৰিব পাৰা যে সেইখিনিৰ লগত মিলাই চাব পাৰা মিলাই চাই গম পাবা যে নিজে কোনখিনি জেগাত লেক কৰি আছা ঠিক আছে তাৰপিছত তেনেদৰে প্ৰিলিমছৰ প্ৰিলিমছটো যেতিয়া টেষ্ট ৰেজিষ্টৰ কৰিবা সেই এনালাইসিছটো আৰু প্ৰিলিমছৰ টেষ্টৰ নিজে এনালাইসিছ কৰিব পাৰিবা কুৱেশ্যনটো গুগলত মাৰি চাই গম পাবা অবজেক্টিভ কুৱেশ্যন আৰু কি হয় কিছমান কোচিং ইনষ্টিটিউটে কিছমান ডেইলি ডেইলি কুৱেশ্যন কিছমান দি থাকে ফৰ এক্সাম্পল ইনসাইটছ আই এছ এ কিছমান কুৱেশ্যন দিয়ে আজিকালি যিহেতু চিলেবাছটো একেই হৈ গ'ল চ' সেইবিলাক কুৱেশ্যনো ট্ৰাই কৰিব পাৰা আৰু তাতে কি কৰে বিভিন্ন ষ্টুডেণ্টে নিজৰ আনসাৰবোৰ আপলোড কৰি দিয়ে চ' ইউ কেন কম্পেয়াৰ ইউৰ আনসাৰ যেতিয়া বেলেগৰ লগত কম্পেয়াৰ কৰিবা তেতিয়া গম পাবা যে নিজে কোনখিনি জেগাত লেক কৰি আছা তো তেনেকৈও আমি আমাৰ আনসাৰ্ছবোৰ ইম্প্ৰুভ কৰিব পাৰোঁ ওকে চ' দিছ ইজ এবাউট এনালাইছিছ বাট এনালাইছিছ ইজ ভেৰি ইম্পৰ্টেণ্ট দেন ওৱান মোৰ কুৱেশ্যন কোনোবাই সুধিছিল মেথছ Uh, if you are weak in maths uh, like me more more basic weak as in maths sir into any given one maths so you cannot leave any section so maths more uh, complex maths is all about practice if you practice kore bolu maths is also a huge syllabus it is key practice kori man he to karane ki kori bolibo question paper sapo libo moi upsc er dhore last 10 years manor sai so question sai pele mo গম পাই গৈছে এইখিনি এইখিনি বস্তু আহে আৰু ৰিপিট হোৱাৰো চান্স আছে ইউ পি এছ চি যেতিয়া ৰিপিট হৈছে এ পি এছ চিটো আহিব পাৰে আৰু এবাৰ মই এ পি এছ চি 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 ডিউটে দেখিছোঁ যে কুৱেশ্যন আহিছে ইউ পি এছ চিৰ পৰা ডাইৰেক্ট আনি দিছে চ' তেনেকৈ মই মই প্ৰেক্টিচ কৰিছিলোঁ অকল অকল কুৱেশ্যন পেপাৰ অকল কুৱেশ্যন পেপাৰৰ কুৱেশ্যনখিনি প্ৰেক্টিচ কৰি গৈছিলোঁ যিহেতু মানে টাইমো ইমান নাথাকে চ' সেইখিনিকে বাৰে বাৰে প্ৰেক্টিচ কৰিছিলোঁ আৰু মেথছটো সেই ইটছ অল এবাউট প্ৰেক্টিচ তোমালোকে ফৰ্মুলাবোৰ মনে ৰাখিব লাগিব আৰু মই এনেকৈ শুনিছিলোঁ যে মেথছ মানে কি হয় যে আমি কুৱেশ্যনটো পঢ়ি পেলাই ছল্ভ কৰিব পাৰিম মই তেনেকুৱা এটা ট্ৰাই কৰিছিলোঁ কিন্তু একচুৱেলি সেইটো কৰিব নালাগে অ'কে মেথছৰ ফৰ্মুলাখিনি মনে ৰাখিব লাগিব কাৰণ তাতে কি হয় ঠিক আছে বহুত সময় যেতিয়া পাই যাবা তোমালোকে বাৰু কুৱেশ্যনটো আমি এনালাইছিছ কৰি কৰি আনসাৰটো উলিয়াই দিব পাৰিম কিন্তু কেতিয়াবা কি হয় আমাৰ হাতত টাইম নাথাকে তেতিয়া আমাৰ কি হৈছে ব্ৰেইনটো ৱৰ্ক নকৰা হৈ যায় তো সেইটো কাৰণে মোৰ মেথছৰ কাৰণে কম যে ট্ৰাই টু মেমৰাইজ দা ফৰ্মুলা ফৰ্মুলাখিনি মেমৰাইজ কৰিবা আৰু প্ৰেক্টিচ কৰি থাকিব লাগিব চাই থাকিব লাগিব মোৰ নিচিনা যদি কোনোবা আছা মই আজি ফৰ্মুলাটো চালে কাইলৈ পাহৰিম তেনেকুৱা হ'ব সেইকাৰণে কি কৰিব লাগিব আমি বাৰে বাৰে সদায় চাই থাকিব লাগিব মুঠতে এই পৰীক্ষাটো হৈছে তোমাৰ নিজৰ ষ্ট্ৰেংথ আৰু উইকনেছৰ আইডেণ্টিফিকেশ্যন চ' ষ্ট্ৰেংথখিনিৰ ওপৰত বেছিকৈ ফ'কাছ কৰিবা কিন্তু উইকনেছখিনিও আমি ইম্প্ৰুভ কৰিব লাগিব যেতিয়া দুইটা মিলি যাব তো এক্সামটোত হোপফুলি ছাকচেছ আহিবই ঠিক আছে আৰু কিবা কোৱেশ্চন আছিলে আই অলসো ওয়ান্ট টু টেক দা কোয়েশ্চন অন ম্যাথস সো ম্যাথস ইজ লাইক দা মনস্টার আন্ডার ইয়োর ব্যাগ ওয়ান্স ইউ গো টু পলিটিক্যাল সায়েন্স এন্ড ইউ হ্যাভ লস টাচ উইথ ম্যাথস ফর সো লং ইউ সি দা নাম্বারস এন্ড অল অন ইয়োর ম্যানুয়াল এন্ড ইট জাস্ট জাম্বলস আপ সো I would suggest that they are not asking you to differentiate or integrate. They are asking you till class 10, 11 maths. Okay. The thing is not about practicing also. If you do not understand it, there is a thing about maths, either you are good at it or you are not. So there is no average. So what you have to do is, like she mentioned, there are tutorials in YouTube. If you do not understand a particular concept, go to the tutorials. I tell you that most of the tutorials that have the most number of views and all, they explain it to you in your school level, high school level maths that you need to understand. And after that, you solve questions. You need to solve questions every day, even if you are afraid of the numbers. And if, I would suggest that if you are really, really bad at it, or you are afraid of tackling maths, you also strengthen other parts of CZ. If you are good at comprehension, if you are good at English or data interpretation and other areas of CSAT, then it will boost your confidence in the max part also. Because it is up till 10th level that you will be asked. Okay? Uh, I'd like to 
take the question uh, mistakes in first semester classes to my visible so more first semester my interview issue kebar kiya bale at more mistakes ki hosile more already kolu je more writing speed to bhal asile mo gote paper complete korisu gote ni answer dik even 5 minutes agote mo paper complete kori bohi ase exam to kintu tothapio final selection list mo na bahale because is of my work basis that my content was not that good content eto nasile moy just general answer likhi goisu iman data put kara nai aru jete apnaloke essay likhiba to essay ki hoy if you can add some poems anecdotes story quotation ebla jodi add koribo para tetia hoy essay interesting hobo lage kintu examiner interest to mol kor essay thaki bolibo tetia marks to baba so moy ki korisu mor mistake to moy realize korisu je content lack of content to mor mistake asile সেইকারণে নেক্সট সেটেপত মই ট্রাই করিলো যে মোর কনটেন্টটো ভাল হওক যিমান পাৰো মই ডেটা এড কৰিব পাৰো আপছা যিমান ভাল কোটেশন বা যি থাকে একৰ্ডিং টু দা কোৱেশ্চন তেনেকে এড কৰিব আই থিংক সেইকারণে মোর নেক্সট সেটেপত সেশন হৈছে মোস্ট আউট দা 30 এন্ড ইটস 230 সো উই ওয়েন্ডেড আপ অলমোস্ট উইদিন 2 আৱৰ্স আই থিংক লাস্ট 2 আৱৰ্স হ্যাজ বিন প্ৰিটি এনলাইটেনিং ফৰ অল অফ আস देयर আর স্টুডেন্টস फ्रॉम अदर ডিপার্টমেন্টস অলসো देयर ইজ জেরুল মাই ফ্রেন্ড He is a student of MTech uh, because the information is circulated, uh, and most of the aspirants who are because he is currently preparing for the exam and he is very serious about it. And uh, as far as I know, there are also aspirants in our departments also who you know uh, sleep on editorials of the Hindu every day, and they go to libraries study regularly. So today's session particularly has been very incredible and very helpful for all the students um, across departments across uh, semesters. Uh, I would like to thank uh, coordinator of today's uh, session, uh, Dr. Pro, Dr. Vikas Tripathi sir, our HOD Professor Jayanta Krishna Sharma for organizing such a wonderful event, such a wonderful uh, session. Uh, I would li also like to thank uh, our today's guests, uh, Tamasa Das, Bernali Khatewara, Janabi Bora, Bidisha Bora, Mosami Chakravarti, Ambarish Sharma, Mosami Bhattacharya. Uh, all of you have uh, put forward your experiences how you have you know uh, come down the path uh, you all have come down a long way your struggles your experiences um, uh, as far as i know your my personal experience uh, but these interactions help us in uh, in the way that you know in a time of social media it's an information of age we all are you know flooded with informations but the thing is that we don't know uh, what is the information that we should rely on what is the authentic source uh, so these interactions uh, actually help us in identifying those sources because when we open the youtube there are you know hundreds of mock interviews but you don't know which one is to watch which one is to rely on but or which one is to you know authentic but uh, and what goes inside that interview room when you appear in the interview uh, those can only be understood when we interact with these people those who have entered that room because we are still somewhere dreaming of entering that room that interview room uh, i i i hope you know we all made it through those aspirants or those who uh, hold the dream so especially um, this interaction session has been very pretty uh, very wonderful and very helpful for all the students uh, because you all have shared your experiences you have suggested us uh, how to deal with issues how to deal with personal problems uh, 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 one particular sentence i still remember uh, one of the guests said that in interview room you have to polite humble and honest i guess that was the three key words uh, so those are the things you know we can understand those things only when we get to meet such people so today's session has been a very wonderful uh, event and i thank all of the uh, organizers particularly our coordinator of dr pravesh uh, vikas prabhat tripathi sir our hod sir and the guests and all those the research scholars uh, students of the department and students of other department student from i guess other institutions also so i think everyone uh, i once again i thank you all and i come oh mura punar bhi